Hey guys, welcome back to B Pro Tips with PowerPoint Pro Tips. So today I'm here to teach you how to create this button hover effects in PowerPoint. It's quick and easy. Let's get started. So now I'm into my presentation and I think I can add a rounded rectangle so like this so I've given it a longer size so you can give your own desired size so because it's a button I have chosen this rounded rectangle so I'll align it to the center of my slide yeah so now I'll go right click I'll, uh, I'll go to format shape uh, I'll give it a gradient fill I'll actually keep it no outline. Yeah. So I'll keep it's a two-step linear gradient which I'm creating. So I'll go to more colors and under standard I'll select this color. Yeah. And now I'll take the darker shade of green color in the standard itself. It's just this one. Yeah. So I'll not change the gradient direction. So nothing. It's just simple. I'll duplicate the slide. So now I'll go to right click, I'll go to format shape. So now I'll just change the color of the pink to the to this one, this purple color which we have created. So now uh, we'll, go, we'll go to transitions and we'll just morph it. So we'll have this effect, we'll reduce the duration to 0.5 seconds. So this will be the preview. So now we'll uh, in the first slide we can click on the shape. We'll go to insert, and now we'll click on this action. And now generally we we'll use mouse click, but this time we'll use mouse over. That is when we hover on it, when we hover our cursor on it, uh, it will ha ha have this action. So we can hit hyperlink it to the slide two. So in this slide, uh, you know, you need not add hyperlinks. So in this slide you can add a rectangle covering the entire slide, keep it no outline and then go to format shape and give it full transparency, send this shape to back so that, so I have added this shape so that when you rem uh, remove your cursor from this rectangle on this shape it will hover. So now I will go to action and I will give, I will hyperlink it to the first slide. So which is the previous slide. So like when I remove my cursor out of this rectangle and it will place out of this rounded button, it will place on this rectangle which hovers to the first slide. So let's say let's once preview it. So it looks like this. Cool, right? But uh, when we again remove our cursor, we don't have any more transition or effect. So we can fix that by adding more transition even to the first slide. Let's maintain a constant value duration of 0.5 seconds. So now we can preview it. So it looks like this. Cool, right? Yeah. So I'll use it. I'll make a new presentation. So uh, I'll copy this. Yeah. So I'll remove its uh, hyperlink. I'll keep it none. Yeah. You can ha keep the hyperlink, but there's no use. So if you don't want any gradients, you can just add colors. Now I'll do the same process. So now I what I'll do is, if you have colors, you can just darken it and then you can go to format shape. And this time what you'll do is you can add shadows. So when you add shadows, I'll increase its size. I'll increase its value. Yeah, you have shadow and now you can add text. Uh, you can change font. 40 font size okay. so now this time you can even add text effects also so this time you can add outer shadow to the text you can add reflection to the text like this or something you can even add glow to the text so now let's add the hover effect so we'll go to action now and under mouse over we'll hyperlink it to the second slide it's already by default because we have copied it from that presentation. Now we need to add a rectangle as I said. 
send this rectangle to back keep it no outline and for its fill keep it full transparent yeah so add an action of uh, mouse over hyperlinking to the previous slide yeah so now let's preview this so it's like this so we forgot to add our more transitions so let's add more transition 0.5 value even more transition to the first slide 0.5 value yeah so this is our final preview so if you are if you just keep colors and add, just change the effects of text and shadows you can create this button hover effect so let's even see that uh, previous one which you have made with gradient so here also i think you can uh, add shape shadows so here i'll add the shadow i'll change the color value and size yeah so now let's preview this so this is how you create this beautiful button hover effects so like this so hope you all like my videos let's see in the next video bye for now